Nerds and Nerdettes, welcome to Insert Coin to Begin Presents Let's Play. I am Chachi Says from InsertCoinToBegin.com. Gaming news for gamers, by gamers, in gamers, on gamers, gamers in socks, in a box, <laughs> with a fox. So let me start off by uh, welcoming you to the show and apologizing. Uh, today was supposed to be ladies night. Um, Woo! <laughs> it was supposed to be me and two ladies. Sorry, Chachi. And um, <laughs> I'm so sorry, Chachi. Let me start at the beginning. Uh, during the course of the week, uh, I sent out a tweet looking for more contributors. Um, one of the responses we got was uh, Miss Allison Shane from Manitoba, Canada, who was very, who is very interested in contributing to the site, and she was even willing to come on and do the show. And apparently, I never told her what day the show was on. So that is my fault. Um, she, so unfortunately she could not, uh, join us tonight. However, from the insert coin to begin staff, we have, uh, miss Julie. Hi guys. And filling in the part of the second lady for this evening, miss Riz. I am a second lady. <laughs> miss Riz. <laughs> So, in case this is the first time you're joining us, and I hope not, but if you are, welcome. Uh, the way the format works is we ask a series of questions, four to be exact. Each question gets a time limit, uh, with the last question being the boss fight, aka the bigger question of the night, that usually requires more discussing and therefore gets more time. First three questions get five minutes each, and the first question each and every week is... What are you playing, and did you play the challenge? Last week's challenge was WorldBiggestPacMan.com. Uh, you know what? Ladies first. Let's start with Riz. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Sorry, I swore again. Oh, there we go. Tip jar. That was even sooner this time. That was Yeah, that was sooner. But anyways, I'm playing Lego Batman 2 uh, DC oh, Heroes, and I've been very addicting... I have a very addicting song pop habit. If, Did if you, you don't know what song pop is, it's it's basically like um, words with friends or draw something, but you guess songs by like a five second intro. Oh, so nice! It, yeah, on Facebook, I've on the iPhone. Oh, or Android. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm not playing that. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Julie, what are you playing? I am playing World of Warcraft again. <laughs> I decided to go back. Aww. I know. But after six long years, I have returned to the Alliance, so that's uh, something. Did you get I'm the new... <laughs> what? Did you get the new expansion? Uh, well, it comes out next month. I played the beta, and, uh... So terrible. <laughs> um, it was just way too busy to actually load, and you guys know the story of my sad computer. So, um, I'm also playing the first Dead Space. I want to beat them all before the next one comes out. Fantastic. Did you play the challenge? I did, but uh, arcade games and I do not get along. Oh. Needless to say, I was terrible, and I died very quickly. <laughs> Riz, did you play the challenge? I played for about, like, one second, and then I stopped and did other things. Why? Because <laughs> I know you got highly addicted to that game, so I know if I played for that long, I would be sitting here right now playing World's Largest Pac-Man, which I am not. I am on the show. <laughs> so he did it for you. Last week I, I did it for you, Chachi. Last week I played it and did all three shows. Awesome well, cast in Wrestling Mayhem show. Well, that's because you're you. You are just weak. Yeah, Sonic Screwdriver Your in face. the uh, chat room said, Challenge neglected. <gasps> oh. Um, we'll come back to uh, this week's challenge. I am unprepared. So. Yes, you are, Chachi. Shut it. Man, I miss Fuzzy. <laughs> Fuzzy wouldn't be sass mouthing me like this. Uh, so, um, there's a lot of actors and musicians getting involved in video games nowadays. Um, going as far back as 
Well, I mean, recently, uh, Samuel L. Jackson in Grand Theft Auto and... Um, oh, man. <laughs> before the all... Before the whole huge... Uh, 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 contract issues happened between actors and video games. Uh, you saw a lot more of them. Now you see you see less. Um, but what actor or actors or actresses uh, do you think needs to be in or in more video games, Julie? Um, I'm going to go with Michael Hogan, uh, Colonel Ty, Battlestar Galactica. He also did the voice on the new Skyrim. Uh, General Tullius. He did work with uh, Mass Effect uh, 2 and 3 and Fallout. Favorite thing about Fallout 3 was uh, hearing Liam Neeson come over the speakers. That was great. I'd like to hear more from him. I think that he he's great. And I liked his voice. You know, I mean, everybody loves his voice. So having him in video games as well as movies is <laughs> win. All right. Miss Riz? Well, first, uh, same lo- along the lines of uh, Mass Effect Three, uh, Mass Effect Two and Three. Martin Sheen was brilliant as the Elusive Man, mm. and I would really like to see him in play in more of those, more of those characters where he's just like an evil guy because that's what he sounds like in the, in voice acting. But also, I would like to see Samuel L. Jackson in more games, and as well, Morgan Freeman, even if it's just a narrating. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where to begin with that. I'm over Morgan Freeman. I'm sorry. What? How can you be over How Morgan Freeman? How can you be Freeman? over Morgan I'm, Freeman? I've said it, and I will stand by it. Defend yourself. I don't. I don't know. I'm ready for a new "put me to sleep" voice. I don't, Jamie <laughs> or Jackson. Does that sound right? <laughs> Go to F to sleep. Oh, that is the best. Um, so please. I, I said uh, Joe Pesci and uh, Gilbert Gottfried. I will never buy a Gilbert uh, Gottfried video game. Oh, come on. Unless it's the Aflac duck. That's true. <laughs> I just... No, I think they have perfect voices for like a really cheesy... Uh, like a cartoon character. Yeah, like a really I cheesy. Can see, adult, I can see Joe Pesci. I can see sure. Pesci. Adult, like, themed. Congress uh, Bad Fur Day. Yeah, like an adult themed uh, animated game like that. I think it would be amazing for Pesci or Gottfried to uh, how be can, in there. How can you be over Morgan Freeman? <laughs> Let's go back to the real issue here. <laughs> the real issues. I don't know. I'm just. <sighs> I like Morgan Freeman, but I guess I'm, it's kind of like. No, I can't say it. You probably just, yeah, no. Like you can't, you can't be mad at Morgan Freeman. I'm not mad at him. I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm done. It's time okay. to put the towel, to put the, throw the towel out of the ring. <laughs> uh, you're blowing my mind. Have I ruined your evening? A little bit. I, I'm gonna go home and watch like. Shawshank Redemption and March of the Penguins. Yeah, I, I'm watching like uh, March of the Penguins. I'm gonna watch the TV show he narrated on Sci Fi. Um, I think it was Sci Fi. It might have been Science Channel. I don't know. Chachi's gonna curl up in a little ball. I, I'm gonna start just crying. Rock back and forth. I don't My know. first night on the show, and I've made you cry. I don't know how to <laughs> handle life anymore. Um, <laughs> the chat room says, uh. It was the Science Channel. Uh, Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill and more Batman games. Sonic oh, agreed yeah. with me, Gilbert Gottfried, and Zero 2K said Christopher Walken in any <gasps> Dance Dance Revolution game. Yes. Yeah, uh, yes. Okay, I, yes. I'll give you... Yes, Sarah, that's awesome. All right, time to I move on. Um, yeah, this next question isn't going to be as good as it was originally. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Um, as I stated before, I, I was trying to make this a more uh, ladies-oriented show, uh, considering that I would be uh, outnumbered. Uh, so this next question was specifically for both of the ladies, and it's, uh, have you ever had any guy scoff when you call yourself a gamer? If so, how do you typically react to uh, something like that? 
Riz, you want to you want to take this one first? <laughs> See what you did, Chachi. <laughs> I made it awesome. Uh, yes. What? Yes. <laughs> yes. How did that make you feel, and how did you react? It it, it made me hurt. Like, right here. <laughs> Right in the here. Show me on the controller where he touched you. <laughs> I'm gonna show you. We're uh, <laughs> right there. <laughs> Ciro, uh, Ciro says that he likes you already, Jolie. <laughs> awesome. And uh, we're insulting, and in, yeah, we're insulting. Insulting is good. Uh, I, I do well Yeah, with it's that. okay. Um, I can uh, take it. Jolie, go ahead. I'm going to take a cool shower, but, you know, it's fine. <laughs> um, honestly, when I was younger, I got a lot more shit for it. Oh, can I say that? Yes. Not, okay. yes. I, um, I already said the I already I know, said the but then I yelled at So, so why anyways, not? Um, I got yelled or laughed at a lot more when I was younger because, you know, they wanted the guys wanted to play with their friends. And I was like, oh, I could I could help you out with that. And they're like, no, you just shut up and sit on the couch and play Barbies. But oh. when I peep. Uh, meet people these days and tell them I'm a, like a gamer. I don't really get questions too much. You know, they just ask me what kind of games and usually have a good conversation. We're Chachi. usually waiting for people to say like Angry Birds or, you know. Yeah, pe- well, I, I get Farmville a lot because <laughs> apparently, yeah, uh, you know, we women, we love the garden. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I am. A, I do love Angry Birds, but I'm pretty sure I'm not in the you know minority on that one. No, definitely not. Uh, like it seems like a, a, from from a guy's standpoint, being serious now, uh, it seems like it's as you grow older. It seems like the perception of female gamers is changing a lot. And like from before, we're like, oh, girls playing video games, no way. It, to now, it's except. It's like pretty cool to see that. It, it's you know the I mean? generation gap is yeah. the, is what it is. Um, back when arcade games were a lot bigger than they they are uh, now and were, um, it was hard pressed to find female gamers in there with the stinky ass neckbeard gamers. <laughs> neckbeard. Yeah, it, it's it was hard. It was because I mean that was seem at, it, it seemed as uh, back then nerds weren't looked on as uh, the lords and ruler of the world that, that we are now. Yeah, like I, I mean, nerds aren't aren't weren't responsible for uh, pretty much everything that people do, and nowadays they are. So uh, more women are willing to step out of what was a hard to get in uh, circle and now you don't have to stand next to this smelly fat guy playing Donkey Kong for six hours straight. I also think that the, the older, the woman, when she tells you that she's a gamer also seems to change it a little bit. Um, I don't know if like, I guess like a 14 year old telling somebody they're a gamer as a female would be seen as a lot. I I guess maybe I could be wrong on that one, but I guess I'm, 26 so i already know by now that i'm a nerd i don't really have anything to prove <laughs> so i don't know if that has something to do with it i i i agree i th- i think age definitely has a lot to do with it not to discriminate against any of you young 14 year old ladies who love to game continue it yes hell yeah, yeah <laughs> pick up the mm-hmm. pick up the controller and, and pwn some some teenage boys in call of duty <laughs> and you will become the most popular person. It's true. But if you say you're a gamer and you play just farm bill, no. I don't think you know what the term gamer is if you Yeah, you don't play no. Farmville. You're like yeah, because you're like, ah, I gotta go check my plants. I did get addicted to Farmville for a month or so. I I'm in remission. It'll be okay. Well, you, you found another crack to go back to, so you don't need the farm. My main man, my main, <laughs> my main drug dealer. Yeah, you, you you got a you got a new supply of the wow, so you're good I to do. go. <laughs> you're jacked in. Uh, the wow. Yeah, the wow. It, it's a uh, the street the street term for World of Warcraft. <laughs> the wow. 
Um, Missy said that nowadays there are more lady gamers, uh, and it's more readily acceptable. Also, ladies can't grow the neck beard. Maybe that's why we're shunned as gamers. And then uh, Sonic Screwdriver made a good point. He said he also thinks that uh, puberty comes into play with acceptance and that it also cures cooties. Yeah. I would agree on the cootie thing. Um, and Missy uh, Rebellious circle, Law circle, says, dot, uh, dot. don't diss the plants. Plants vs. Zombies is a fun game. <gasps> That's because true. It has I zombies. have that on my iPad, and it's awesome. But, um, yeah. All right. So let's move on to the uh, the final the final question. The boss fight, if you will. Um, the most... Who is the most influential female game character... And why? Go ahead, Riz. Hmm. But, like, I, I, I would go with Zelda, but the one that sticks out the most, I think, is Sarah, Samus from uh, Metroid. Metroid, yeah. Yeah. It, that was the first real dominant character in a shoot 'em up game. And when, when she, when they, when, she removed her head, her helmet to reveal that she's a woman. It kind of was like, oh, okay. So, so it's cool to play as a girl. Like it, at, through the game, you're like, okay, I'm beating this. I'm I'm really good. And then she reveals. So it it was really cool to see that when it happened. Okay, but, I, I'm not gonna disagree with you. Um, but I disagree with you. <laughs> It's, it's because I'm not Fuzz, I know. I know. I know, you, you miss Fuzz. I know. And and I'm not a... <laughs> you, you, no, you are not Fuzzy. Oh, I'm a little... Uh, should I should I leave the uh, the chat room, guys? No, no. No. <laughs> Actually, you can go ahead and answer the question. Oh, thank you. And then um, I will answer the question, and then we will argue about it and see what the chat room says. Okay. Um, well, I kind of went on with the same as Riz in the beginning, like Zelda was like one of the first games I played and I definitely think she's up there. Um, in Metroid, that's a, an obviously a great one, a classic one. I really enjoyed Jill Valentine, uh, resident evil. I don't know if she would be as influential as groundbreaking, I guess, as introducing, um, Saros Aaron in uh, Metroid, but she really just kicked ass, and um, she was smart. She was more than just you know boobs on the screen. I thought um, I'd, I'd have to go with her. Okay, hmm. and of course I said Zelda. Um, of course, and that's no big surprise. Um, here's why, and it's also why I disagree with, uh, Samus, and, um, why I'm gonna disagree with Jill Valentine, and why I disagree with Lana Croft, or Chun-Li, or Star, or anyone else that you can name in the realm of female game uh, characters, uh, Sonic Princess Scre Peach? Uh, well, yeah, no, Princess it, Peach. definitely Princess Peach. Um, Sonic said, uh, Miss Pac-Man, she was first. <laughs> Um, when I was looking at this question, um, number one, Zelda came to mind because she was the first, uh, princess that I had to save. Um, th but that doesn't necessarily make her influential. Um, what I was talking about was more along the lines as, uh, a role model for, uh, young girls. And granted, uh, Legend of Zelda isn't going to be the type of game that most young ladies pick up and play uh, right off the bat. And I could be wrong. However, um, later on, you find out that Samus is more than just a princess that gets captured all the time. Um, so you find out that she actually has c quite the awesome ability to be a huge freaking ninja um it, therefore uh showing her girly side of yeah she's a princess of this kingdom that's always in trouble um but she doesn't really need your help to take care of it because uh she'll just go out and whoop your ass herself 
um, which is something that Princess Peach doesn't do. Um, and it's not something that Samus does. Samus has the has the 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 kick ass part down, but she doesn't necessarily have the the feminine side down, or at least to a point where we've been shown. Same with Laura Croft or Chun Li or uh, Jill. I can. Laura I, Croft I can kick your ass this. and look good doing it. Hmm. Laura Croft can kick your ass and good, good look good doing it. Just true. Just, yeah. Well, I, mean, I never she, really got into the whole Tomb Raider thing, though. I don't never, know. Yeah, I'm not a big Tomb Raider fan, but yeah. What about um, female uh, Commander Shepard, Mass Effect? Ooh, that's a good one. I don't have experience in that realm. I, I don't have a lot. I just um, I was kind of I played, I, I I played as Mel Shepard for you know three games, mm -hmm. but seeing like some of the clips for female Shepard, she is pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. I I don't have like I'm looking. I'm starting also. I guess I should have said that earlier. Starting to play the Mass Effects as well. So that's why it kind of interests me with this question. Because he was such a big, like, you know, the male of Shepard. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy to see a female. Oh, let's <laughs> see. Um, chat room gave us a lot of Laura Croft, Chun-Li, uh, Star, Miss Pac-Man, Blue Sorceress. Anybody from Dead or Alive Volleyball? <laughs> Beach Volleyball? No, Beach. I'm sorry. That's automatically dis disqualified because oh. those ladies in no way shape or form are a positive role model for anyone <laughs> oh my god <laughs> they're not influential at all unless you're trying to influence someone to be a whore <laughs> I'm gonna go with sim number three in my one world <laughs> sim <number three. laughs> she's very influential in fact I think she's a doctor nice uh, Ciro says that there's belief that the right bar in uh, Pong was a female. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, and then, of course, nice. uh, not to mention, <laughs> you, you have all of the ladies from the Final Fantasy games and so mm -hmm. forth and so on. Um, does does Birdo, but does Birdo qualify? She was evil. She did yeah. nothing but shoot eggs and fireballs at you. But she was protecting her nest. In Doki Doki Panic or... Super Mario World 2. Fair, fair enough. I'm getting a wrap-up signal from the behind the uh, boards <laughs> over here. Which means we have come to the end of our time, because I never turned on the timer. I just kind of let us go. Um, so, uh, you have been watching, listening to, viewing, uh, you downloaded, uh, this is Insert Coin to Begin Presents Let's Play. I am Chachi Says. Lego Caddyshack. Oh, crap, I forgot a challenge. Hold on, let me get my list, and I will pick one at random. Drumroll. No, that's a Facebook game. We're not doing Facebook. I don't care. We're not doing... Uh, we're I'm not, not doing, doing that again. We're I will beat all of you in Scramble with Friends. Scramble with Friends it is. Yep. <laughs> oh my. Uh, watch the, uh, the Twitter. Uh, this week's challenge will be Scramble with Friends. Is that available on both uh, iTunes and um, Android? Uh, it's Zynga, so I'm going to say yes. Okay. So uh, this week's challenge is Scramble with Friends. Download it on your mobile device. Yeah, you know, whatever that may be. Whichever <laughs> one you happen to have, download it. Uh, you can check out the Twitter account where we will be posting our usernames uh, so that you can play us in Scramble with Friends and see if you can beat Julie or not, I guess. I guess the challenge this week is to beat Juliet. <laughs> just, just me. Yeah, it's to beat Juliet. Scramble. Actually, with I friends. should not have done that. <laughs> so uh, it's already out there. You can uh, you, you can catch us on Twitter. You can catch us on Twitter at Insert Coin TB. You can go over and check out our daily news stories at Insert Coin to Begin dot com. We are on iTunes. We are on Facebook. Google Plus. Uh, I said the Twitter. Um, well, we are everywhere you want to be or should be and more. Except for MySpace, because no one wants to be there. Friendster? Is that even still a thing? 
Oh, no. Maybe I should start a Friendster. <laughs> and Ciro, you started a clerk. Ciro says that uh, he votes Julie as a show regular from now on, so you have the support of our fans. That makes me happy. I was like kind of shy to come on, so I'm glad people enjoyed it. No, it was it was awesome. Uh, you definitely need to come back. Yeah, so well, well, I'll be here. Well, I have to be here next week to make an excuse for myself when I lose scramble with friends. <laughs> so, uh, well, you know what? Allison said that she would be on next week as well. So maybe we'll do a ladies' night then. We'll have to find out. Uh, I am Chachi. Says that is Julie and Riz. You can catch us on Twitters. You can catch us on uh, the, the website and see our opinions and news on the video game worlds. So until next time, thank you for joining us, nerds and nerdettes. Game on, play us.